Welcome back to the channel. So today on Rep 361 Texas, I'm gonna show you how to do tire letters on your uh, your custom sidewalls here. So we got that LBC Customs Powder Coat, Gordo's Wheel and Tire Rubbers, and uh, today LBC Customs supplied us with some tire stickers from tiresticker.com. You wanna check these guys out, do really good. Look at there. I just got you 15% off for watching this video. These are the permanent tire letters. So once you put the permanent tire letters on, pretty much permanent. I mean, you can peel them off. In fact, let me show you what happens when you peel them off. The evidence is pretty much there for life. I don't know if you could see all that, but yeah, this is an older set. Uh, I curbed one of these tires. And so once I curb that tire, it does peel the letters off. And once it does do that, you have to replace the letters. So I'm just giving y'all a heads up now. If you're doing custom tire letters on your wheels and tires, make sure it's like it's like running rubber bands you really do not want to curve those because once you peel them off you have to peel the whole set off put a new sticker on and it usually looks like shit when you're done if anybody watching this video knows a process for being able to peel off and replace these let me know in the comments below we're going to get started real quick uh we're going to do a little bit of prep first thing they want you to do is use order uh, well it doesn't have to be odorless but mineral spirits to prep the tire prep the surface get all the uh whatever's left over from the factory off of the sidewalls these right here I like to take those guys all off and I usually hit them with a razor blade. So I'm gonna do that first, clean this up. And you need to take your sticker. So you wanna go ahead and get them orientated, get an idea of where you're gonna put them. I'm gonna cover up the the part that actually says Nitto on the tire. So uh, you can do it, you can stagger it and have it say, you know, Nitto here, Nitto there or whatever. But I'm gonna cover up the factory part where it says Nitto. Right in this area is where I wanna take all of these little nipples off. And, uh, yeah, we're playing with nipples today. Pretty much gonna start here with the tire letter. End over here, I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Take yourself a nice brand new razor blade. Go ahead and pick up the little tire nipple and just cut it away ever so gently. Just like that. There you go. We'll do that for every one. It is a very tedious process putting these tire letters on. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Just like that. Just oh, that's all right. We can still get on there. There you go. Kind of like shaving. If any of y'all shaved with a straight razor, then you're gonna want to open your mineral mineral spirits and uh, try to keep it off of your wheel. What you want to do is get you a nice, uh, call that gracious amount, and you want to rub the area that you're gonna be applying your tire letter to. You want to just sit there and. And rub it and rub it and rub it and rub it. Once it starts to get dry, add a little bit more and do it again. This is gonna lift anything in that rubber out that may cause the uh, adhesive not to stick to it because you want the best tack that you can get. And uh, you're gonna do this to the tire and the actual backside of the letters before you put the glue on the letters. But you can see this, this is, this is the stuff you're getting out of there. So you just gotta keep working at it nice clean surface all right your next step is to clean your letters the back side of your letters off and it's not really hard to clean these these are really simple to clean you just kind of pat them down like i'm doing here and even these things from the factory have some gunk on them keeps that adhesive from i don't know what it is from sticking but you can see that stuff wow yeah we're gonna we're gonna do that a couple more times before we stick this on. All right, so now that you got your letters all prepped up, you wanna position them, how you're gonna want them to ride on there. Let me cut this off right here, this leading edge. So in the background there, I went ahead and cut this off. That way I can get the gap to match this gap here, just like so. That's kind of how we're gonna put it on. now. One thing you gotta look at is how to orientate it to where it looks proper. And you wanna step back and kinda get an idea because once you put this glue on and set it down, that's it, she's pretty much permanent, buddy. Now what you wanna do is put a pretty decent amount on there. You wanna smear it around. Just like so. Want to get kind of close to the edges, but not too close. I 
this glue seems to be a little bit dried out which isn't cool but that's all I got on hand and you want to just kind of layer it in there you would think the more you put on the better it is but I can tell you right now the more you put on the messier it is and the longer it takes to tack because this stuff is kind of like a super glue it pretty much is a super glue if you ask me whoops you don't have to get off of the actual tire sticker to get it right but it helps it helps all right so we got the ni all gooped up i'm gonna make sure that's where we want it i'm gonna go ahead and get it nice and lined up the way we think it's gonna go on and we're gonna go ahead and give her some pressure get her kind of set in place just like so and then you're just gonna kind of give her the beans now once you get this far you're gonna have to hold pressure on it for a good little while for it to grab and uh this is the tedious part it's real tedious to put tire letters on and uh have them stay so what you want to do is kind of work the glue to the outer edges try not to be getting it on the outside to where uh you're going to be wearing it on your fingers because again it is like super glue and once you get it on your fingers it dries just like super glue does just want to kind of make sure you depress all this stuff really well get that glue evenly distributed across there to where oh see i got it on my finger uh, just like i told you not to i do recommend doing this like i'm doing it off of the vehicle it's a lot easier to work with if it's on the vehicle it's kind of a pain you have a lot of other factors that play in with gravity and the glue and stuff running down the side of the tire it's a lot better if you can lay the tire flat be able to put nice even pressure on everything but yeah we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and pause the video here when we pick back up we'll be gluing this other half we'll be applying it I found out that holding the tip of the glue bottle and doing it like I'm doing on the actual letter helps you kind of conserve the amount that you're using, helps you to spread it out and get it kind of even and keep it from being so, so much glue that it runs all over the place. You still kind of get runs no matter what you do, at least from what I've noticed. It's never been perfect, but I mean... The whole point of this video is to show you how they actually work and how they actually come out in real life because they don't really have any close-ups of what these things look like after you're done and uh to me they actually look pretty decent a lot of people think it's an actual tire that came like this they don't really catch on to the fact that it's aftermarket stickers <sighs> Beautiful. Alright, so while this one's setting, this one should be dried and good to go, or at least ready to peel the cover back and reveal the final results. Looks like it's doing pretty good so far, so good. Yeah. She's on there nice and neat, just like it should be. Alright, and just so y'all are aware, once you do this it leaves behind this plastic film you're gonna want to peel that off too just like that it's because their laser is set too deep I don't know why they haven't fixed that but it's been like that on all their tire letters I've gotten and it's actually lasering into the uh, applicator film so you have to come back and do this And there we go all right so the first side's done we got the other side to do and uh just like i showed you we had a little bit of bleed out not too bad but that's about the right amount you want to put on these things that way you don't have an issue with them trying to peel off you can see that they laid on there nice and flat not really wavy and uh yeah that's just that's just how i do them this is probably my fifth set of tire letters i've done on these uh these nittos and uh 
you know i have i have multiple tests like you can see the ones in the back of the truck over there you can see the uh first set over there so yeah it uh it definitely is something that you can't just wake up and do i can tell you that right now there's a lot of things that i could do without ever having done before this takes some time and a little bit of skill to get it right i'm telling you what but once you do the wow effect is killer <laughs> all right so now we've got all four of our tire stickers put on our two tires uh the other two are already done i don't know if i mentioned that but they've already been done i've just been waiting on these two tires to come in so i could get them put on the wheels and get my tire stickers put on them um one more thing before we get done with this video just want to let y'all know that uh when you're running tire letters it says that the glue on them is flexible but I can tell you right now, if you like to run your tires at a low PSI, say if you're, uh, you know, doing a little bit of street fun or something and you want a dead hook, so you lower your tire pressure, just be sure to air it back up when you're done because if you run these things low, the sidewall compresses the tires hitting the ground and what it does is it'll actually cause this lettering to crack or it'll cause the uh, glue to come loose. So you want to make sure that you air these back up. You also want to make sure that you give these things a good few hours to dry before you even run them. I'm actually going to let them sit out in the sun and bake in really well and get them nice and cooked and dried before I put them on the truck and actually run them. Because if you run them while they're still wet, it'll cause them to break loose as far as the uh, stickers go. And then you'll have a bunch of edges that are lifted up. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some information out of it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. We'll catch you next time. Rep 361 Texas, we're out.